Eram dois filhos idosos. Já sei. Ok, you're going Z to A. And you're going A to Z. Vocês começam do Z para o A e eles começam do A para o Z. Ok, just for two minutes, see how many Dois you minutos. Work out. Okay, Vai. Go. Some people have got their phones out, I noticed, and they're looking it up. Okay, let's see how you've got on, okay? No time. So let's, I can't re say the alphabet backwards, so let's start forward. Um, let's start with A. Abraham, okay? Abraham. All right. I guess all of this probably works in both languages, so. Eles provavelmente funcionam todos na inglês português. Boaz. Boaz. Okay. Well done. C. Caleb. Did Caleb okay. have children? Yeah. Has anyone got a more certain C? Cain. No, Cain didn't have children. Cain was killed. Maybe Caleb, don't know. Caleb? Don't know. Steve, no? Okay, D. David? E. David? I'm not sure about Elijah and Elisha, no. Uh, Eli, 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 oh, Eli had some wicked sons. Yeah, yeah Eli. Eli. Uh, H-I-A-B-C-E. F. Hey. <laughs> e. F, thank you. F. No, well, the other side could have got an F. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of a name <laughs> in the Bible. <laughs> no, maybe F, no. G. <laughs> Okay. Gideon. Gideon. Gideon did have children, you're right. H. Agar. Herod. Hagar? No, Hagar. I don't know. She's a woman. Hagar was a woman. Herod. 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 The first Herod had, because there were three Herods who were sons and grandsons, yeah. H. I. I. It's easy, I. Isaac, well done. Isaac. Jay. Jay. Joseph. Joseph. Jacob. Uh, no, don't think James did. Jacob, Jose. We, we've had Joseph, so that's fine. H I J K. K, 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 K. 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 No, I can't think of K. L. L. Labon. Labão. Como Lamech. Que é Labão em inglês? Lamech. 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 Oh, Lam yeah, Lamech is one of the early people who lived uh, 800 years or something, isn't he? 600 and something years, Lamech, yeah. M. M. Uh, Moses. Moses. Moses had children. Moses. N. Noah. Noah had sons. Well done. O. 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 Obed. Ah, mas é que em português, Obed. He had sons. Yeah, Obed sons. 
but I think he was David's great grandfather or something over there, wasn't he? Um, P. We don't read about Peter's sons in the Bible, no. Philip, don't, don't think we read about their children. Philip, no. Paul, no. Paul, no, no, don't think, no, no. Pharaoh. Pharaoh had a daughter. Yes, well done. Pharaoh had a daughter. So he was a dad. Well done. Uh, B, oh, B, Q. Q. No, O, B, Q. Kill him. R, no. R. R, for a I think a lot of women. Ah, oh. oh, anyone got a man? Oh. No, that's a woman. Rahab is a woman. Ramesses. Ram Ramses. 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 Okay, Rehoboam. <laughs> huh? King Rehoboam had a son. Okay. Ramal. Yes. O P Q R S. Solomon. Solomon had sons. Rehoboam was one of them. Uh, T. T. It should be easy. We don't read about Titus's sons. We don't read about Timothy's sons. Thomas, we don't... Actually, there's no reference to a son, is there? T, T, T. No, I'm not sure about T. Uh, T, U. Oh, dear. Uriah. Uriah. There's a man called Uriah. Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure we read about his son, though, do we? I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. He was killed before. Yeah, I think he might have been killed before he had his sons, yeah. Okay, uh, V. V. No, I can't think of anyone in the Bible with V. X. Oh, W, sorry, W. W, W. Chases. Chases. Okay. W. I'm not sure there's any Ws in the Bible. Huh? Can't think of any men in, or women in the Bible called W. Why? 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 So I don't know. Oh, well, there was a King Xerxes, but we yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. He might have had sons. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We don't. I we can't don't think know, off the top of my head. Probably. Why? No, it's not strange the sort of letters you think. There's no one in the Bible with a Y. No. And Z, Zebedee. That's what you all got, wasn't it? Zachariah. Zebedee. Zachariah. 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 Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. John the Baptist's dad. Baptist. Okay, okay. Okay, we all think slightly differently. Okay. None of you said the, de the dad that we're going to think about this morning. The dad we're thinking about this morning. There's two of them in the Bible, they're both dads. Oh no, I think you did say it, you said it, I think. Yes. But I was thinking of the other one. We're going to think about Jesus' dad, Joseph. Okay? Nós vamos falar do pai de Jesus, José. Did Jesus, do you think Jesus called him dad? Vocês acham que Jesus chamava ele de pai? It seems that he did, okay? We're Parece gonna, que sim. We're going to look at one or two scriptures later, which clearly talk about Mary and Joseph being his parents, okay? Nós vamos ver algumas passagens que falam claramente so sobre Maria e José ser seus sure pais. I'm sure as he grew up as a boy, he would have called him dad. Então, eu tenho certeza que enquanto crescia, ele ia chamar o José de pai. And actually, this Joseph did a pretty good job, didn't he? E esse José, na verdade, fez um ótimo trabalho, não fez? Let's not sort of hide behind the fact that he was a son of God to think, well, therefore, he was bound to be perfect anyway, in that sense. Não vamos nos esconder por trás do fato de que Jesus era o filho de Deus para dizer que ele era perfeito seria anyway. But the way Mary and Joseph brought Jesus up. Mas da forma como Maria e José criaram Jesus. Shaped his character. Moldou seu caráter. Gave him the caring, compassionate nature. Deu a ele essa natureza compassiva, as well cuidadosa. As taught him the difference between right and wrong. Ensinou a diferença entre o certo e o errado. Did Mary and Joseph have any other sons? Maria e José tiveram outros filhos. What were their names? Quais eram seus nomes? James, Tiago, Judah, and Jude. We say Jude. Jude that Leandro preached on last week. Sim. On Sunday morning, yeah. Okay, so was there a John too? Okay, okay, so three. We've got the name of three other 
Três outros. Sons that they brought up. Filhos que eles criaram. And again, we know from James and Jude that they wrote books in the Bible, so, you know, I'm sure that again their faith was a reflection of their upbringing. E também nós lemos que Tiago e Judas escreveram livros da Bíblia, então nós vemos refletido nisso a criação que eles tiveram de José e Maria. Sadly, the last mention of Joseph is when Jesus was 12. Infelizmente, a última menção sobre José é quando Jesus tinha 12 anos. So sometime because he's then not mentioned at all when Jesus uh, engaged in his public ministry around the age of 30. E aí ele não é mencionado mais quando Jesus começa o seu ministério público por volta da idade de 30 anos. Whereas his brothers and his mother are talked about a number of times. E os seus irmãos e a sua mãe continuam sendo mencionados. So it's fair to assume that he died sometime between Jesus being 12 and 30. Então nós podemos assumir que ele morreu em algum momento entre a idade de Jesus de 12 a 30. What kind of man was he? Que tipo de homem era ele? Firstly, I want to say this about him. Primeiro quero dizer o seguinte. He put trust in God before his own reputation. Ele colocou sua confiança em Deus antes da sua reputação. He got engaged to marry Mary. Ele se no, ele noivou Maria. He had great plans for them, I'm sure, in their marriage together. E eles tiveram muitos planos juntos no seu casamento. And then he discovers, of course, that she's pregnant. E aí ele descobre que ela está grávida. And the child is not his. E que a criança não é dele. And he decides the best thing he can do for himself and for Mary is to quietly divorce her. Então ele acha que o melhor a fazer para ele e para Maria é divorciá-la em segredo. To try and keep her reputation and his as best as possible. Tentar manter a reputação dela e dele no melhor possível. And then we read these words in Matthew 1 verse 20. E aí nós lemos essas palavras em Mateus 1:20. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. 1:20. Mas depois de ter pensado nisso, apareceu-lhe um anjo do Senhor em sonho e disse, José, filho de Davi, não tema receber Maria como sua esposa, pois o que nela foi gerado procede do Espírito Santo. So Joseph now has a dilemma. Now, então agora José tem um dilema. Does he do what he was planning to do? Ele faz o que ele planejava fazer? Or does he do what the angel says to him God wants him to do? Ou ele faz o que o anjo disse que Deus quer que ele faça? He faced a choice in his life. Ele se deparou com uma escolha. Just vida. like we face choices in our lives. Assim como nós nos deparamos com escolhas nas nossas vidas. Choices about what to study and where. Escolha sobre o que estudar quando. What work to have and where. O que trabalho é, é, começar e quando. Where to live. Onde morar. Who we might want to marry. Com, com quem vou me casar. How to bring up our children. Como criar os meus filhos. There are a lot of choices that we face in our lives. Muitas escolhas que encaramos nas nossas vidas. But as with Joseph, God has plans for us too. Mas como José, Deus também tem planos para nós. God has plans about our lives. Deus tem planos sobre as nossas vidas. God has plans that he says are for our good. E ele diz que esses planos são para o nosso bem. Plans that will make the character of Jesus more evident in our lives. Planos que vão fazer com que o caráter de Jesus seja, seja mais evidente nas nossas vidas. Plans that will involve hardship. Planos que vão envolver problemas. Sacrifice. Sa sacrifício. Suffering. Sofrimento. But all for the purpose of making us more like the Lord Jesus. Mas tudo com o propósito de nos fazer mais parecidos com Jesus. And so Joseph had to make a choice between these plans. Então José tinha que fazer uma escolha entre esses dois planos. One was fairly easy. His plan was fairly easy to do. O plano dele era bem fácil de fazer. God's plan was the hard one to do. O plano de Deus era o mais difícil. But Joseph chose chose to do the hard thing Mas because José it was the right thing to do. Escolheu fazer o mais difícil porque era o mais certo. Because it was God's plan for him. Porque era o plano de Deus para ele. You know, we can hardly imagine what history would be like, have been like if he had made the wrong choice. Nós não conseguimos nem imaginar o que a história seria se ele tivesse feito a escolha errada. How do we make that choice? Como nós fazemos essa escolha? Between our plans and God's plans. Entre os nossos planos e os planos de Deus. The temptation again, like with Joseph, is to choose the easy way. A tentação, também como José sofreu, é de fazer o mais fácil. Rather than the hard choice of choosing what God wants for us. Ao invés de escolher o mais difícil, que é o que Deus quer que nós escolhamos. But God calls us, doesn't He, to live a life that is different? Mas Deus nos chama para viver uma vida que é diferente. 
to live a life that is holy and pleases him. Viver uma vida que é santa e que agrada a ele. Knowing that we've got an enemy who's not happy when we live a life following the Lord Jesus. Sabendo que nós temos um inimigo que não está feliz quando vivemos uma vida como Jesus. But this week we'll all I'm sure face choices. Mas essa semana eu tenho certeza que todos nós enfrentamos escolhas. Be like Joseph. Do the right thing. Enfrentaremos escolhas. Seja como José, escolha o certo. Even if it's the hard thing to do. Mesmo que seja o mais difícil a fazer. Joseph, the next time we come against Joseph is in Matthew 2, verse 13, when we read this. Jesus has now been born, the wise men have visited. E é, a próxima vez que lemos sobre José já é no capítulo 2, versículo 13. Jesus já tinha nascido, os, os magos já tinham ido visitá-lo. And Matthew 2, 13 says this, When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. Mateus 2,13 Depois que partiram, um anjo do Senhor apareceu a José em sonho e lhe disse Levante-se, tome o menino e sua mãe e fuja para o Egito Fique lá até que eu lhe diga, pois Herodes vai procurar o menino para matá-lo Agora Deus fala para José, vai para um país onde você nunca esteve you've never seen a picture of. Você nunca nem viu foto you've probably heard very, very little about it. Você provavelmente ouviu muito pouco sobre ele you don't know what to expect there. Não sabe o que esperar lá Mas os meus planos agora são que você pegue Maria, sua esposa e Jesus, o bebê, e vá para o Egito And again, as the dad, he made the right choice. E novamente, como o pai, ele fez a escolha certa. He got up, verse 14 says, he took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt. E aí no versículo 14 diz, então ele se levantou, tomou o menino e sua mãe durante a noite e partiu para o Egito. We're going to see a clip on the video from the Olympics in Barcelona in 1992. Nós vamos ver um, um clipe sobre as Olimpíadas de Barcelona em 1992. The race is the final of the men's 400 meters race. A corrida é a final da dos 400 metros masculinos. In that race is a man called Derek Redmond. E aí nessa nessa corrida tem um homem chamado Derek Redmond. Who is running for the United Kingdom. Que está correndo pro Reino pelo Reino Unido. And he was in the form of his life and he was Uh, the expectation was that he would get a medal. E ele estava na, na, no auge da sua carreira, a esperança é que ele fosse receber uma medalha. So we'll now see that race and see what happens. Nós vamos ver essa corrida e ver o que aconteceu. He was in great shape, you know, he, he was, had a chance, possibility of maybe getting a medal there. Oh, I said, oh, I'm going to get back into lane five. I want to finish. 
Now in the greatest arena in school, he's getting the chair of the games. I never wanted to be in Derek Chu at that time. You know, it was a sad moment. It was a, you know, a great moment. You know, in the sport, to be honest. It's just a figure, a picture that just stays in your mind forever because you don't want to see any athlete having to go through that. You just knew how destroyed he was and just how much that race meant to him. So you saw his dad come onto the track. Então você viu o pai dele chegar na na no track na pista. Fight off the stewards who were trying to stop him. Tirar os seguranças que estavam tentando pará-lo. Go up to his son. Ele vai para o seu filho. And apparently the conversation went like this. E parece que a conversa foi o seguinte. The dad said to Derek, "You've got nothing to prove, son. Stop now." Você, o pai disse para o filho, "Você não tem nada que provar. Pare agora." Derek replied, "I can't, Dad. I've just got to cross the finishing line." E ele falou, "Não posso, pai. Eu preciso atravessar a linha de chegada." Dad replied, "In that case, son, I'm going to help you get there." E aí o pai respondeu, "Nesse caso, eu vou te ajudar a chegar lá." And he put his arm around him. E aí ele colocou seu the finishing line. E ajudou a atravessar a linha de chegada. As dads. Is there anything we wouldn't do to help our kids? Com pais, existe algo que nós não faríamos pelos nossos filhos? To protect them, os protegê-los. <laughs> to if necessary, get alongside them and go with them on a journey. Se necessário, ir ao lado deles nessa jornada. We can't run their race for them. Nós não podemos correr a corrida por eles. That dad definitely wouldn't have run won that race, would he? Ah, aquele for him. pai provavelmente não ia ganhar a corrida se tivesse corrido por ele. <laughs> But he could help him across the line. Mas nós podemos ajudá-lo a atravessar a linha de chegada. And we can, of course, overwhelmingly, for our children as dads, set the right example to them. E também, de forma ainda maior, nós podemos dar o exemplo para os nossos filhos. We can pray for our children. Podemos orar pelos nossos filhos. We can pour our lives into our children. Podemos dar as nossas vidas pelos nossos filhos. And always be there to come alongside them. E sempre estar lá ao lado deles. Just I believe as Joseph did with his sons. Assim como eu acredito que José fez com seus filhos. And 12 years later of course with Joseph. E aí 12 anos depois, no caso de José, we read that brief story which is in Luke 2. Nós lemos uma história curta que está em Lucas 2. Verse 41 where it says this. Every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the feast according to the custom. And after the feast was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. And when they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. And after three days, they found him in the temple court, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Lucas 2:41. Todos os anos, seus pais iam a Jerusalém para a festa da Páscoa. Quando ele começou, completou 12 anos de idade, eles subiram à festa conforme costume. E terminada a festa, voltando seus pais para casa, o menino Jesus ficou em Jerusalém sem que eles percebessem. Pensando que ele estava entre os companheiros de viagem, caminharam um dia todo. E então começaram a procurá-lo entre os seus parentes e conhecidos. Não o encontrando, voltaram a Jerusalém para procurá-lo. Depois de três dias, o encontraram no templo, sentado entre os mestres, ouvindo-os e fazendo-lhes perguntas. Todos os que o ouviam ficavam maravilhados com seu entendimento e com suas respostas. Quando seus pais o viram, ficaram perplexos. Sua mãe lhe disse, filho, por que você nos fez isso? Seu pai e eu estávamos aflitos à sua procura. Mary and Joseph lost Jesus. Maria e, José, Maria e José perderam Jesus. As parents, we've all lost a child at times, haven't we? Como pais, nós 
Alguma vez perdemos um filho, não perdemos? Or am I the only one who's ever done it? Ou será que só eu, só comigo aconteceu isso? No, 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 yeah. I blame Jeff. I think we were on holiday with Jeff and uh, Steve and Jean. <laughs> eu culpo o Jeff. A gente estava de férias com eles e com a Jean e o Steve. Okay. And all that we was, went to a fun park. E nós fomos para um parque de diversões. And then we went back to our cars. E aí nós voltamos para o carro. We came, yeah, we came out of the fun park, went back to our cars. Saímos do parque, voltamos para o carro. Sorted out who was where. Estávamos lá vendo quem ia sentar onde. And I said to Linda, "Where's Joe?" E aí eu falei para Linda, "Onde está o Joe?" He was about four, five at the time. Ele tinha mais ou menos uns cinco anos de idade nessa época. And she said, "I think he's with Jean and Steve." Aí eu acho que ele está com a Jean so e o Steve. Steve's car, and they said, "No, he's not with us." Aí a gente foi para o carro da Jean e do Steve, e eles falaram, "Não, ele não está com a gente." And we looked around the other cars. E aí a gente olhou nos outros carros. And he wasn't there at all. Também either. não estava. And it slowly that terrifying truth dawned on us that we'd left Joel behind. E aí de repente aquela verdade terrível in the fun park full of thousands of people. Deixamos o Joe para trás num parque de diversões com mais de 5 mil pessoas. So to be fair about 10 adults amongst us charged back into the theme park. E aí mais ou menos os 10 adultos que estávamos conosco nós andamos de and volta pro parque. Run around like crazy trying to find Joe. Correndo igual loucos tentando achar o Joe. I said to Linda today, can you remember who found him? And we can't remember who found him. Eu perguntei para Linda se, se ela lembrava quem achou ele. But we did find him. Mas a gente achou ele no final. <laughs> Someone found him. <laughs> Alguém o encontrou. Our memory is that he had, didn't really realize he'd been lost. <laughs> e a minha memória é de que ele não tinha nem percebido que ele tinha que ele estava perdido. He was having the time of his life. Ele estava tendo uh, tempo para sua vida. Lost him. Mas não para gente quando Whoa. perdemos. And that's just what happened with Joseph and And Mary, after a whole day, they lost, realized they'd lost Jesus. E isso foi o que aconteceu com José e Maria depois de um dia inteiro. Eles se deram conta do que tinha acontecido. And how many days did they spend looking for him? E quantos dias eles ficaram procurando ele? Three, it said. Three. I Três. can't imagine what that was like as a parent. Eu não consigo nem imaginar o que é isso para um pai. No wonder Mary said, "Son, why have you treated us like this?" Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Não é surpresa que a Maria falou para ele, filho, por que você nos fez isso? Seu pai e eu estávamos aflitos à sua procura. Even though Jesus was 12. Mesmo Jesus tendo 12 anos. Even though he was in the presence of the Pharisees. E ele estava na presença dos fariseus. The parents were entitled to be anxious and care. Os pais tinham o direito de estarem ansiosos para os Because as parents we never stop loving our children, do we? However, Much they grow up. Como pais, nós nunca paramos de amar os nossos filhos, não é verdade? Não interessa o quão velho eles estejam. Even now, my son, my son Joel is taller than me. Meu filho Joe é mais alto que eu. But I still love him like I loved him that day. Mas eu o amo ainda como eu o amei naquele dia. I still want the best for him like I wanted the best that day. E eu ainda quero o melhor para ele como eu quis naquela época. I may not understand everything about him or our other children. Eu posso não entender tudo sobre ele ou sobre os meus outros filhos. I may not agree with all the choices. They make in life. Eu posso não concordar com todas essas escolhas que eles fazem na vida. Mas isso não muda o amor que eu tenho por eles como seus pais. Como seu pai. We have the greatest example of all this morning, don't we? The love of God for us. E nós temos o exemplo maior de todos. Não temos essa manhã o amor de Deus por nós. A love, what, despite whatever choices we make in life. Um amor God's que, love for us is constant and true. Independente de todas as escolhas que fazemos na vida, o amor de Deus é constante e verdadeiro. And it's a love that wants us to come and to know God Himself. E é um amor que quer que nós nos acheguemos a Ele e conhecemos e, e o conheçamos. So as we thought about Joseph this morning, então ao pensarmos sobre José essa manhã, I think he's a good example of a father. Que ele é um bom exemplo de pai. Father who cared about his son. Um pai que cuidou do seu filho. He sought to protect his son. Que tentou proteger seu filho. He came alongside his son and helped his son. Que caminhou com seu filho e o ajudou. And a father who wanted the very best for his son. Um filho que quis o melhor para o seu filho. Because, and he um pai que quis o melhor para o seu filho. taught him God's way. Porque ele o ensinou no caminho de Deus. He showed him what it was like to make the right choices. Ele mostrou para ele como era fazer as escolhas certas. And as dads, we must do that for our children. E como pais, nós precisamos fazer isso pelos nossos filhos. Let us pray. Vamos orar. Almighty God, this morning we thank you that we can come before you. Deus Todo-Poderoso, essa manhã nós te agradecemos porque podemos nos achegar a ti. And that we know that you are a good, good e nós sabemos que o Senhor é um bom, bom Pai. 
that your love for us has been constant and true. Que o seu amor por nós é constante e verdadeiro. That you have never disappointed us. Que o Senhor nunca nos decepcionou. And that you want the very best for us. E que o Senhor quer o melhor para nós. Thank you for your plans for each one of our lives. Obrigado pelos teus planos para a vida de cada um de nós. We realize, Father, that they sometimes will be hard. Nós sabemos, Pai, que eles muitas vezes serão difíceis. And we pray for your strength to make the right choices. E nós oramos para que nós tenhamos a tua força para nós escolhermos o certo. And we thank you that whatever we do in our lives, you will go on loving us. E nós te agradecemos porque o que quer que seja que façamos nas nossas vidas, o Senhor continuará nos amando. And you will always, your love will always be seeking to draw us back to you. E o teu amor sempre estará procurando nos atrair para ti. Thank you, Father, for who you are. Obrigada, Pai, por quem tu és. We come and we want to follow you. Nós dizemos que queremos te seguir. We want to be like you. Queremos ser como tu és. We want to be your children. Queremos ser teus filhos. Know you putting your arm around us. Saber que o Senhor coloca os seus braços ao nosso redor. And helping us to run this race of life. Nos ajuda a correr essa corrida da vida. We give you our thanks. Nós te agradecemos. In the name of Jesus. No nome de Jesus. Amen. Amém. Amém. We're going to sing together our closing song, which is a lovely song of response for us in terms of our following the example of Jesus. Nós vamos cantar essa última canção que é uma resposta nossa sobre a nossa resposta de